Hi, how are you, precious ones? I hope you're enjoying your day so far. I just want to share with you about hope, the hope that lies in Christ. I don't care what situation you're in. I don't care how bad, bad it seems. God is bigger, and there's always, always hope in Christ. You know, it says in Romans 8, 28, that all things work together for good for those that love God and are called according to his purposes. So no matter what happens, God will use it for good and bless you. And I have personal experiences of this. And let me give you one quickly. My husband and I were renting our home here in Freeport. Um, and he was an assistant pastor at the corner, uh, at our corner. And the parsonage was available. So we were behind financially. So we figured this will be great. We will rent our house out and we will live in the parsonage. And that's what we did for a year of our lives. But it really was a really difficult period in our life. It was a dark time, but also it was a wonderful time because God really showed himself strong. So we rented our home out to a nice couple and we went into contract with an option to buy because they wanted to buy a home. At that time, we thought we were going to Jersey because Jersey's heavy on our heart. If you know, we have many outreaches there. It's still heavy on our heart. And we felt called there to do ministry. So we thought we would sell this house and live in the parsonage meantime. And financially, we had a lot of bills. So that's what we did. But the people that were renting our home couldn't get their mortgage. They always do great research. I trusted my realtor to said they had good credit, but I should have checked it myself. And they couldn't get their mortgage. And we were in distress because we already went into contract for a house in Jersey with to buy it, but only with an option, thank God, that only if our house sold. Well, we thought we would let to Jersey. We really were ready to give it all up and go. Our house was on, uh, up for sale, couldn't get the mortgage. So I told her, listen, I'm gonna have to show my house. You can't get your mortgage. I have another house that I purchased and I need to sell it. She refused. And you know, if you rent and they're in your home, they have the upper hand here in New York. I couldn't show my house, she refused to show it. She was angry at me, but I wanted to sell her my house. I couldn't help it that she couldn't get a mortgage. She refused to show my house to sell it. So. I did the Jericho march around my, my property. I wasn't allowed near my property. She stopped paying us rents. She stopped paying us rents. And uh, we were in financial step, stress. I stopped working because I thought we were on our way to Jersey and all the plans went down. So I started doing the Jericho march around my property. I went and prayed around it and prayed around it and prayed around it. We had to go to court and she finally got out, but it wasn't easy. The sheriff almost had to come. She refused to leave. She stopped paying rent. She owed us a lot of money. And when we finally got our house back, it was filled with cockroaches and it was a total mess. But my husband was smart. My husband took out a rentist policy. But at that time, we had to drop the house in Jersey. We had a neglect on that because we couldn't buy it. We didn't sell ours. And I still trusted and hoped in the Lord that he knew what he was doing and he was directing our steps. And he sure was because what happened was we didn't end up moving to Jersey to do ministry. God wanted us right here. And that's why she didn't show our house. God didn't want my house sold. So sometimes we have plans and we think we know what God's going to do, but God is better and higher. Plans. He says his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So what seemed desolate, what seemed like there was no hope, that we were ever going to go to Jersey and that our house was ever going to sell. God had a different plan. We moved back into our house. And like I said, my husband took out a rentist policy to clean up the whole house. But what happened was that rentist policy gave us enough money to clear up all our debt, move into our house debt free. And my house was better than what it was when I first moved in. Hello. It says in Romans 8, 28, that all things work together for good for those that love God and are calling to his purposes. And that's what I would pray around my property. I would go around there every day, around my property, around the block and pray Romans 8, 28, that all things work together for good. And it did. I got my, my 
all my bills are paid and we walked into a better house than we walked out of. In Psalm 918, it says, but God will never forget the needy. The hope of the afflicted will never perish. So whatever your situation is, no matter how desolate it looks, how hopeless it looks, he's got a better plan. Trust him. Claim scripture. Just don't read it. Pray it over your situation. Apply it. Romans 8, 28 could go for every situation. All things work together for good. For those that love God and are called according to his purposes. So we did move into our house. It was better than new. And we do have ministry here. And we're, we're touching Freeport. We have our outreaches in Freeport. We have people that come to our church, our home church, which is what God wants us to do. And it touches people in ways that big churches can't touch. You know, it has a different strategy for the Lord. And we have our outreach in Freeport every year. And we have people come here from Freeport. And God is using us right here because that's where he wanted us. We had other plans, but I trusted him in it. Even though it looked like everything was falling down, I stopped working. We had no more money coming in. My husband was working part-time. We were on our way to Jersey. We were packed. And then he changed us in a different direction. But his plans are so much greater than our plans. His ways are so much higher than our ways. So remember that no matter what you're going through, he knows better. He is bigger. And Romans 8, 28, all things work together for good for those that love God and are called according to his purposes. Be blessed.